of all, congratulations on being uh, re-elected. I voted for you, uh, second preference, and I know that contributed in the final round, and I look forward to discussing some of the ideas from my manifesto with you so that you can make some use of them. Um, now, today I was planning to discuss the terms of the expected New Deal for Transport for London, particularly walking and cycling funding, but obviously you don't have a deal yet. So instead, I would like to ask about other sources of revenue and what's been said about them before, what our options are. Now, in, in January, Transport for London sent to government its financial sustainability plan on time. Um, and, but on Friday, at the TfL Programmes and Investment Committee, the Commissioner said the government had provided no response to it, just an acknowledgement of receipt. So can I just check, can I just confirm that is still the case today? Well, firstly, apologies to the other two parties, but I also gave my second preference to you, Sean, um, and, and to the Greens, so, uh, 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 which, explains, which explains your tally for so many second preferences. Um, uh, but can I just say, uh, so far we've received no formal response or any response to the plan we submitted by the deadline. Uh, um, yeah. That really worries me. I mean, we've got an extension until tomorrow, but we still have no response, and you can't tell me any more about that, presumably. Um, so I'll, I'll move on to my next question. Um, in the financial sustainability plan, a boundary charge was suggested as an interim step. Now I think, given discussions that have taken place over recent months, we kind of all agree that a single day-long charge for coming into London from outside is a bit of a blunt instrument, and it certainly looks like the government doesn't support a boundary charge either. But if nobody wants a charge like that, then it's government who needs to tide us over until we can develop something fairer. Don't you agree? And, and have the government conceded that in your discussions so far? Uh, I think it's probably not sensible, Chair, to give a running commentary on negotiations with the uh, government, but it's a big issue because you've either got to massively reduce expenditure or find other ways to raise uh, revenues. Mm. I similarly think uh, you know, extending the congestion charge to the North Circle and South Circle is, 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 is not on either. So it's, getting, it's navigating our way through the short-term financial challenges because we're not going to get to pre-pandemic levels for some time. Just to give you an idea where we are, uh, the tube numbers yesterday were about 40% of what they were pre-pandemic. Bus numbers around 61%. So there's a big gap between what we need to run TfL. I'm going to keep, keep running a full service because otherwise people yeah. won't come back. And so it, it, is, it is a challenge. Okay. Um, okay. And then finally, your trips to the north um, have been really interesting to see. Are you lobbying for a package deal of similar medium-term arrangements for London and other cities as a kind of combination with other mayors? Because it does look a bit like that, what, that you're doing. One of the interesting things is how, what a sort of hodgepodge arrangement there is between different regions and central government. Uh, we're hoping the CSR provides uh, an opportunity to put us all in the same place. And one of the things we did this week uh, is, uh, th there's 10 of us now, metro mayors across the, uh, the, the country, get together to discuss what we'll be doing together. That includes, in inverted commas, levelling up. It includes uh, recovery. It uh, includes zero carbon, but also includes conversations around the CSR and what bids we put in as a group, as well as what we put in as individual mayors. Excellent. Thank you very much. I very much support that. It's an approach I've been asking for for a while. So thank you very much.